All right, so here today, I really wanted to talk about this so you are aware about what's going on with the game. I want to make this abundantly clear. You've seen the title probably, and yes, this is basically true. What I am sharing with you here today is a fact. The game is currently at its lowest player count since its launch, which again, is bound to happen. I will also make a fact clear. This is not all the players there are. There are obviously going to be console players. What I can show you is only the Steam charts. We really can't get the information of how many console players there are. But again, there are console players being Xbox and PS4, uh, PS5, right? Those players exist. They do. I will say again, this is only Steam charts. So remember, it's only a subsect of the community. We don't know how many players really exist on console. Uh, what I can tell you for a fact is they released us a number. They told us 700,000 or something like that. Uh, players downloaded the game during the first uh, or rather the final beta which was the open beta uh, where players were allowed to play for two weeks I think or a week um, and during that about that many players did get to the game uh, downloaded and whatnot play the game and had fun so if we were to go over that it's a lot of players now again I can't tell you but I can show you is the steam charts so you're aware basically how the game is doing right now um, and you can have an idea of yeah it, probably the console community is also trending downwards based on the information if steam's doing it why is the console trending downwards right Today, let's hop into it. If you're new to the channel, like it, subscribe, helps out a ton. Let's jump into it and let me show you how the game is doing as of right now. So basically, hopping over here, we have the My Hero Ultra Rumble page, okay? This clearly tells us that at this moment in time, we're playing an hour ago, was 847 people. As of yesterday, which is crazy to me, it was around 950, right? So in that much time, and this is a decent time, I will be honest here, it's a little bit more later in the night as I'm recording this video. So obviously, that's gonna be lower, but the peak in the last, you know, 24 hours was 1600. Currently, the game is kind of treading downwards a lot. Um, as of a few weeks ago when we checked this, or when I checked this, it was around 6,000. That was when Endeavor released, uh, which was a much bigger number. And then with the launch of the game, we are at like 50,000. So I'm very curious what happened, because that's a lot of players dropped. Uh, the all-time peak, yeah, it was exactly right here, about 46,591 uh, on the Steam side. Um, and that's where we're currently at. So from this peak, we then got to this 24-hour peak, and that's where we're at currently right now. Um, I will be honest with you, we could take a look in this chart. So over the last seven days, seven days ago, we were around 1850. We hit a very low point over here being around 959. We then got over here a bit, a bit like better, uh, randomly December 8th, something may have happened. I don't know exactly what happened, but we got 2000. Over here, we got a 2000. Over here, again, hit a little bit more of a low point, 1.2K. Over here, did again pretty good, hit a low point, did again pretty good. Hit a bit of a low point, did again pretty good. <laughs> and it continuously happened, kept hitting that low point. And then there you go. 847 is where we're at now, which if you were to look at the, the one month, it's basically one of the lowest points. You can see a lot of these points were bigger. We're not going to count these points, clearly, right? Because I'm pretty sure these were maintenance, right? Players can't play the game during maintenance. So let's not let's not be very, uh, you know, problematic. You're being like, oh, technically, this is not the lowest ever. We've had lower. No, it was maintenance, which you can't play the game at that point. But look at this, right? At the launch of Endeavor, which again, you can take it over here. Um, this tweet was posted uh, November 24th, which is the launch of, again, in, uh, Endeavor in November. That rhymed um that is here 5.6k players was the peak the peak of endeavor was around there and i'm still shocked that again i do think first off the game does not do great on advertising and like letting people know the game exists i will also say the game i think has a big issue where you get shadow banned too constantly right that is why i want to also make this video because recently I basically stopped playing a few days ago, and I haven't played since because I'm so mad. I randomly got shadow banned. I didn't, and people, I asked people, like, why, why I can't I get into a match? I'm just getting bot lobbies now, or, like, one team and then bots. And they said, oh, you must have kept leaving games. And I said, I did no such thing. <laughs> what happened? I'm so lost. Um, and I later found out that it's a, it's a common occurrence. You randomly just get shadow banned, and you would have done nothing wrong, like, literally. And it's, like, a point where you get into bot lobby, bot lobby, bot lobby, and there really is no fix other than waiting, or I don't know if there is a fix, but... For me, I closed that, got back in the game, same thing happened. And for me, if, if, if I'm a standard player, correct, who doesn't really know much about like checking up bugs or whatnot, I would have just quit the game. I'm like, oh, the game's dead probably, right? I can't find a single match because the game's dead and I quit. That's again gonna be a common occurrence. And I do think that a lot of players are lost. I don't know why they implemented a shadow ban thing. Like I get it if you're trying to ban a cheater, but <laughs> unless I'm getting reported every match that I'm cheating, I don't know what to do. But um, that's, again, a big thing that currently happened. Uh, we'll go to the three months so you can kind of see, like, the downward uh, thing. This is the launch of the game, picking up 46,000 at its peak. First, it was 38, or first, it was 30, then 38, 46. It started to drop, obviously, as players are getting acclimated, not liking the game. Maybe it's a battle royale. It's not for them. Uh, we then hit our pretty low point here, kept on going down to 21K. We then got a little bit of a kind of, you know, push up here, which is pretty nice. 
went down again, had a bit of a spike over here on the 20th, which again was the start of, you know, kind of advertising for Aizawa. Then we had a big more spike per se on October 24th, which was again the launch of Aizawa, and then just downwards until basically the launch of November, uh, being, I keep saying November, <laughs> launch of Endeavor. So we didn't really have big spikes here. Uh, maybe here 5.2k to 5.6k uh, or here 3.6 to 4.1 but mainly when the launch of a character gets there they probably players like see that and come back to the game to check them out um and if they don't like the character they move on you can see though like you know Izawa like, lost 3k and then just went kept going down <laughs> so maybe like one of these updates like november 3rd may have been an update fixing something so players return uh or over here players may have returned for an update again uh maybe something was fixed but as you see time has progressed and as we've hit this uh point where uh and they were released you've seen it, it it's dropped a lot players are now in the uh thousands and today as of right now is in the uh, 800 area which again i will be be abundantly clear here it's not like a terrible number but it is i think that we're going to get lower and lower and lower as the season progresses sadly because the only thing releasing at our mid-season this season is guess what skins and in this game players hate skins because guess what you have to gotcha them and gotching them is a lot of a sort of loss because players try fail run away because again the earning rate of tickets aren't the fastest in this game so people are like all right let me try boom i just wasted all of my attempts to get a character i didn't get a character or a skin well peace out ggs right so mid-season this season is going to be very treacherous and then i would also say like the best way for them to do this they they got to start like hyping some stuff up right they can start talking about season three theoretically season three technically is basically a month and a half away and we're we're there right mid-season is only a week or two away and we're there like at a point they can start talking about stuff uh, and sharing stuff so we are aware of what's happening um or like give more of announcements like a little bit of a, a snippet give us an image saying silhouette season three coming soon like i mean if people see that they're gonna get hyped so i don't know why they don't do things like that but again who am i uh, but again as you see october uh 2023 46 000 players over here in november 6,000 players last 30 days is 5.6 thousand players at our peak um and basically in two weeks this number will be our peak players being like basically what 3.3k so it's just going to keep dropping again like when and i also think the biggest uh fall off also uh was the aspect that they didn't release enough characters to start the game off they released a lot of students right but there's players that just kind of want to play this all for one mirio and there's a lot of other big popular characters that weren't dropped at the launch of the game which they could have easily kind of counteracted that um, and had a lot more player, uh, rather characters, players would really want to get, you know, the hang of uh, or use. I definitely think that would have been a better idea, um, but <laughs> that's just like a side point. But we'll see what happens. I don't want to share this with you so you are aware of where the game's at right now, uh, what's happening. Hopefully next season is a big season uh, to give a little more hype up and to give us a little more clarity of what they plan. Like if they do plan a character per season, we'll at least be aware with where our, um, you know, expectations are supposed to be placed. Because right now we're expecting like, hey, Maybe a character, maybe a mode, maybe something cool. Maybe two characters, a mode, something cool, or just nothing. Like, what do we expect per season? Uh, as of right now, I don't even know if there is a season three character, correct? They haven't given us any information. Um, the way of them hyping stuff up is through the magazine, which they haven't produced anything of that also. They haven't even hyped up the, the fantasy skins, and they come out in, like, seven days. You could have at least hyped that up, but <laughs> they didn't, right? So, I don't know what they're planning, but, hey, let me know what you think about all of this. I'm curious.